How the Light Gets In is the Institute of Art and Ideas' unique festival, combining days full of talks and debates in philosophy, politics, arts and science, with evenings full of music and dance. Get your tickets for the world's largest music and philosophy festival at howthelightgetsin.org. But can I add one, yeah, please. which is um, that I think you have a, an interest, and I'd like to hear you talk about it, in um, explaining why it is that we are living at a moment where we seem to be um, increasingly tribal. Yeah, well, first of all, I'm sorry with my love for, this, for everything on this panel. I really think that the word tribal yes. is a distraction from very important issues, migrants, citizenship. These are, the, these are very important concepts, you know. It's very often our prejudices and our powers, very often our, the hegemonies as well as our resistance comes from being citizens. And you know, you're, abs you're right that, that, you're, that there are no borderless, uh, that, that nations have borders. But of course, many people who move, like you and me, move because we want to belong somewhere else where we feel more productive for whatever reason. Doesn't mean I don't adore Bombay, I adore Bombay to death. But it, it does mean that I moved first to England and then to the States. So let us respect the fact that each time we move, there is a nation state, there is a community which we feel serves us better. So let's not be embarrassed about that. And I think that citizenship rather than tribalism is the important way to go. Let me just say that there is one way of thinking about opening up the nation to the issues of migration, to the issues of global inequality, which is to think of the past and the present. To think that, known, that most nations were constructed, and John Stuart Mill is, of course, the, the master of this moment, were constructed when empires were being constituted. So when we think about cosmopolitanism today, when we think about the hospitality to the migrant, and we have to think not in individual terms, we also have to think in institutional terms. When we think of contemporary notions of nationhood, then, and or cosmopolitanism, we have to be able to think about the pasts upon which the nation state was built. You know, John Stuart Mill says somewhere, I am a Democrat in my country, and I'm a despot in somebody else's country. What does that make of me? And I think that's the question that Trump, that's the question that Modi, that's the question that most of the tribal nationalists today should face. We are constructed in this problem. And unless we see that contradiction, we're not going to go anywhere. So when we think about them and us, the them is the us. The migrants, who, the people who come, post-colonials who come and settle or require, demand respect, demand a certain security because they don't get it, they also belong to a history, a long history of the modern world, which was a history of slavery and civility, colonialism, barbarism, and civility. Why can we not face the fact that the Enlightenment as we understand it, or liberalism was constituted from this. And I think if we see that internal decision or internal confrontation, it's not a fragmentation, we can actually become much truer citizens to ourselves and the nations which we, to which we belong, and much truer in our hospitality and our understanding of conditions across the world and the new interdependencies. Let us not forget, that globalization may create technological connectivity, but globalization has constructed its own forms of poverty, inequality. So it's not as if these inequalities are only left over from the concept of the Westphalian state. The, there are new forms of inequality that have been constructed through the global. So it seems to me that some form of enlightened cosmopolitanism that understands that the history of nations is also the history of slavery, also the history of colonization, and that the peoples from elsewhere, foreigners, are part of that long history. And it is our responsibility to create a democratic structure, to create a form of cosmopolitan conversation intersecting with our national sense of our belonging. And to actually only through that way can we move forward. And I'm convinced that that is very important. Get your tickets for the world's largest music and philosophy festival at howthelightgetsin.org.